putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. Doubtful. But we don't need much, and Sanjar isn't going to share. Yes, I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. For now, you can tell Hiram that I'll stop using Devil's Peak. From the pits of our eternal souls. Thank you, Captain. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Sermons? For the love of... I'm going to see to the wounded. Greetings, friend. All right. Before all this, I was a writer for MSI's product catalog. It was my purpose to spread awareness of Saltuna in its various forms. The certainty with which I spun among the other cogs in their machines stifled creativity and personal growth. On that, we agree. Why have you come? Ah, my stomach. Hey.
just wonderful. Someone's destroyed the damned bridge.
prevail. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. Awfully sensible for a businessman, aren't you? It's what I'm known for. Or what I'm usually known for, the occasional mishap notwithstanding. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh la, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way, once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures, Lance handles the human capital, and Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. We were hired to do so, why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Wow, that was a bit presumptuous, don't you think? We were still debating as to whether we're contractually obligated to take out those marauders. And here, you've undercut us. We have an image to uphold. Our services are deservedly expensive. Now, I shall have to pay you so that future clients continue to recognize the value of our work. 
We'll just say you were a subcontractor. Yes, that'll do. We exercised our finest judgment in hiring you, you know? I owe you for bringing the boss man back to us. Thank the architect, Bertold's back! Got a problem? Maybe I can help. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. 
I may have a secret for you, for the right exchange. Ask me what you will. How? Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem, in the end? I'd say fairly competently. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fix my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver, so I can input the needed adjustments. Ugh, oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. We're almost done. Let's finish this. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior, but I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Void blasted hell is that. Black holes. Did you see that? Look, there's not enough room in this tower for two sarcastic hull heads, so one of us has to knock it off. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the 
your good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot.
on this gunship, and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hullhead. I told him, again and again, that without fixing our regulators, spinning up the engines, they're going to blow through our coils, and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger I'm holding up, because I'm doing it as hard as I can. Staying long? If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. That's surprising. The board's equipment is usually in top shape. After all, they have first access to any fresh parts or components. Agreed. This is... Mysterious, to say the least. A conspiracy? You've spent too much time around Graham. Well, because the module controls the weapons systems. Can you imagine what those maniacs would do with weapons like that? They'd wreak havoc and roll back all the progress we've made at reconciling with the rest of Halcyon. This would be more than a shakeup. Even if they merely sat on the scraps, the threat of a bunch of anarchists holding a gunship would bring the full wrath of the board down on Monarch. We can't afford that. Threaten the system's order and you call down the wrath of the universe, or in this case, the board's. Which, in this colony, is pretty much the same thing. Ah, oh, you see our quandary, then. Look, Celia! She's being funny again! I don't think so, sir. Really? Well, I could have sworn... Well, that's not important. What is important is that there's a considerable distance between us and that ship, and most of it is inhabited by marauders and raptodons.
Do you just think of these things in the moment, or do you write them down and save them for later? Hmm? <laughs> They're very good. Oh, I can play along. What I've got here is a town full of yellow-bellied corporate cast-offs who wouldn't know a stun baton from a slide rule. <sighs> How is that? Wow! Thanks, I, uh... <clears throat> Thank you. Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. The board's own Salvage and Recovery Clause 32B would say differently. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. Don't worry. We'll send an engineering team for those later. We'll have to disconnect them from the rest of the ship. Of course, they'll be useless without that targeting module, which is why it's critical that you retrieve it. Which is also why we can't let the Iconoclast get them. Good, because we haven't a moment to lose. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Oh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a manta pillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. Normally, I'd find this kind of talk from you quite invigorating. But this is a difficult moment for me. Still, perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right. Who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. One can't be haphazard about these things. Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms.
Something on your mind, Captain? Too bad. Had I a reliable third party I could trust to set up a meet, maybe I'd consider it. With all the help you've done here, at first I thought it could have been you. But I can't trust you to think logically. Your priorities are skewed a bit too much like Graham's. For all I know, Sanjar's playing you to get to us and you can't see it. So no, in another life, maybe that could have worked out for all of us. In this one, we're going to war. Nice day, huh? For Monarch, anyway. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. Why wouldn't they? As we speak, our message assaults their populace through their favorite entertainment mediums. Surely their retaliation will come soon. At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. Uh... I'm all for fighting the board and all, but... Oh, shit. Just don't shoot too many of my drinking buddies in there, all right? And you, Captain. Are you prepared? No. Our hearts have long since closed to one another. He is blinded by his love for bureaucracy. Time is of the... Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Ooh, that's very good. I wish I could help, but I've never been very good at making presentations. I, uh... Ooh, I could work on a brief, if you think it would help your case. Excellent! I'll get to it straight away. It'll be a few weeks before it's ready, but one can't put a price on quality work. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. Well, aren't you unpredictable? It lends you a certain air of mystery. It's quite magnetic. I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. It looks like the Iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. I'm afraid we've got to fight them. They'd knock our walls down trying to get that module. It looks like this means... war. She's right, sir. You don't sound very convincing. Well, I didn't ask for a performance review, did I? I'll lock the south gate to keep them out. You'll have to approach from the north. Good luck.
done. We're still alive.
You're back. <laughs> and in one piece. <laughs> Does this mean you? I, I mean, we won? We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it. Not that I'm really surprised, but, well, maybe a little. You did it. I mean, we did it. Of course. I don't mean to undercut everything you've done for us. Shall I make a note for your self-review? Give credit more generously? Not now, Celia. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. That's a hefty promise. You've got Monarch's hopes up, Sanjar. Don't go messing this up like our last overlords did. And perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. You really mean that? That's the nicest... Celia, put that down in today's minutes. Already done, sir. Anyhow, thank you. And good luck to you. What can I do for you? Quite well, actually. It's astounding how much our quality of life has improved without Graham's lunatics breathing down our necks. Our residents are reporting increased productivity during their shifts and improved satisfaction in their leisure time. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to.